Welcome or welcome back new viewers and gamer bears, it is time for some more Terror Raid videos and today we're going to take on the newest event, the Terror Steel Blastoise, and I will go over my little strategy that I have here, so let us begin, but before we truly begin, for those of you on YouTube, I'd like to ask for you to subscribe, and for those of you on Twitch, I'd like to ask for you to follow. It certainly helps out both sides of the community, and it's for free, and you can always change your mind later on. Thank you for that, and allow me to go over this Gully strategy that I have sitting here. And as you can see here, Blastoise is Steel Terra type, which means it's got a lot more resistances than it normally has. Normally a Water type. First turn, it will go for Withdrawal, which will raise its defense. And now, it'll immediately set up the shield, kind of similar to the Pikachu raids from last year, only that's a small portion of its health bar filled in. So the strategy here is to start off a Mystical Fire. The rest of our moveset being Sacred Sword, which ignores those pesky defense buffs like from Iron Defense here, and that withdrawal we saw earlier. Swords Dance to power herself up, and Light Screen. So the strategy here, let's use Mystical Fire two more times, use three times in the beginning, and thank you for resubscribing, Eren. And yes, Mochi. But, uh, and for seven months, thank you for that. Seven times over. Alright, so now I've used Mystical Fire twice, we need a third one. Now, Blastoise over here, I believe he's Max Special Attack, I think? I could be wrong on that, but its moveset is Flash Cannon for its Steel-type stab, Terra Stab, Aura Sphere, and Hydro Pump. Weirdly enough, I thought this thing would have, um, Water Spout. Maybe the devs thought that'd be a little too broken for him to start off with that. But yeah, Iron Defense and Withdrawal, really, that's its entire moveset. It's kind of underwhelming, not gonna lie. But yes, as normal, we have the Shell Bell. We can Terrastalize now. And later on in the fight, Blastoise will take away your stat buffs once, and it'll take away its own stat drops twice. Alright, what is that gift? Alright, now here we use Swords Dance twice. If you want to use it a third time, go on ahead. But I'd say using it twice is just fine. And for this uh, Gallade build, we are max HP, max special defense. With the sharpness ability. And a little bit of investment in attack, but you don't need that much investment thanks to one, Sacred Sword side effect of uh, ignoring defense buffs, and two, well, Galley just hits pretty damn hard, so there you go. Alright, now we can Terrastalize. A legendary shiny, okay. Actually, I did just catch a shiny off screen last night while doing these raids, so I can give you one of those if you don't mind. I have a shiny, another shiny Griever. Showed up while I was EV training this Gallade. But anyways, now we are Terra fighting, and that shield is pretty much nothing. Yeah, Hydro Pump really isn't that big of a worry. Blastoise only having base, like, 85 special attack, it doesn't hit that hard. Alright, shield's almost gone. Because once a shield breaks, and once it takes away its stat drops, that's when you use Light Screen. Alright, the other Gallade helped to get rid of the shield. It will also use Shell Smash once its shield goes down. So do be careful of that, and it'll immediately take away its stat drops too from the defense drops that it gets from that. And we gotta wait through this long ass sequence. Alright, there we go. Thanks for the helping hand. I better yet, just because of that, I should go straight for that. Alright, the Vaporeon set up the sun, so now Hydro Pump will do less damage. Because even with plus two special attack, oh my god, whoo, Blastoise, you ain't living. Alright, takes away his own stat buffs again, or stat drops again. Sets up the rain. Because unlike Venusaur last week, it'll set up the rain after the fight's been going on for a little bit. Yeah, that Hydro Pump ain't doing shit even, plus two. Yup. <laughs> I did say to use Light Screen after it uses Shell Smash, but honestly, I don't think we need to do that here. Yeah, bye-bye. And that's how you do the Blastoise Raids, though not entirely step-by-step, step, but it worked anyways. And you're doing Motion Mayhem, well that's cool. But anyways, that's how you take down Blastoise, for those of you on Twitch. If you'd like for me to help you out, don't hesitate to put a code in the comments, and for those of you on YouTube, learn, here you go, that's how you do that raid, and there we have it. I really like the Petron theme. It's very catchy, let's just say. Mm 
Alright, so now... Alright, we'll do your... Oh yeah, your trade code, that's right. I'm gonna give you the Shiny Griever that I just got. Because I already have another Shiny Griever that I ended up catching last year, if you remember one of those videos. And I have a Shiny Houndstone, so I don't need that. Better yet, hold on, before I... Before I do this, hold up. You know, let me put in the code. I'm gonna give it an item for you. I'm gonna go find it, if you do not mind me. It's right here. And now what shall we give it? Um, I'll give you free leftovers. Oh, you don't want that? Okay. If you don't want Griever, you don't want it. Alright, so let's do the trade and I'll figure out what I want to give you later on then. While we're doing said trade. No, not Grievance, Grieverd. The dog. The candle dog. That's what I was about to give you. If you're still fine with it, let me go put that leftovers on it. Yeah, if it was Greedent, I'd understand completely. Greedent sucks. Diggersby and Raticate are way better regional, uh, way better regional, regional rodents, excuse me. Alright, here, take a free leftovers for your troubles. I got so many of them. Still wish Hanson was part rock type, but what, do you, what can you do? At least the last respects is absolutely busted. Alright, on Douse's file, here you are. I'm gonna love it. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh, yes, I do need me another Latios. I got three other Latioses, like what two shinies I got off of a, off of a giveaway, and then one that I caught in my file. So, cause what I have one that's Terra Electric, one that's Terra Fighting, one that's Terra Fire. So maybe I'll make this one Terra Steel or Terra Dragon, just for extremely powerful meteor storms. Well, thank you for that gift, I'd, gift as well as your subscription from earlier. I highly appreciate it. Still need to make, like, because, spoiler alert, but on my, um, the Misty Terrain team I've been trying to make, you know, speaking of Misty Terrain, if y'all don't mind me, I'm gonna go to Medali for a second, before we continue doing any more Blastoise raids, because I need to make this man right over here Terra Fairy, so Misty Explosion ends up hitting really hard. Yeah, I think we were pretty close to Medali anyways. Because on my Misty Terrain team, my thought process, which I should state it in the next VGC video, I... Excuse me, alarm's going off. But I keep stating that I'm gonna do that. I will eventually, don't you worry. But... My thought process is because you know how I always complain about how Misty Terrain weakens the power of Dragon-type moves? You know that Misty Terrain doesn't affect Pokémon that are... Or just any of the terrains, period. Doesn't affect any of the Pokémon that don't touch the ground, like Flying-types or Levitate Pokémon. Well, Latios having the Levitate ability means it's not affected by its Dragon-type moves getting weakened. That also mean, but the opponent, assuming they're not a Dragon-Flying-type like, say, Salamence, for example, they still get that uh, Dragon-type nerf. So if anything, it takes away one of uh, Latios' weaknesses just under really specific conditions. I want to take advantage of that. So I'm definitely using Latios in my Misty Terrain team because of that. Maybe a more support-oriented Latios for, like, Tailwind and whatnot, but other than that. And now we got our Terra Fairy... Histo... I almost said Hisuian. I <laughs> imagine. Uh, Galarian Weezing. But yeah, I got this team underway. I'll, I should have tested it more on Showdown. I haven't yet. But anyways, now let us see if there's any more Blastoise raids. If not, I could always reset my timer.
what a stacked team you got there. Actually, a lot of team synergy, not a... Well, there's two bits of type overlap because you got two fighting types, but they're cool fighting types. And did you say you were doing an Ember solo run, or did they only require those Pokémon for certain challenges? And I see this guy's using an Iron Valiant. Speaking of which, I think after these raids are over, I might keep this uh, Gallade for support purposes. It can be a really support-oriented Gallade, which I think would be really strong. I wanted to use Gastrodon initially in these raids, which I did use when this came out earlier in the week. The thing is, Gastrodon just doesn't do enough damage, because outside of Storm Drain, it has no reliable way to raise its own special attack, so... That's kind of why I prefer using Gallade. Because if Gastrodon could learn, like, Calm Mind or, um... Or Nasty Plot or even Fake Tears, it'd definitely be a more reliable killer of these Blastoises. Because, yeah, if, if y'all remember my Terra Fire Gastrodon from one of my uh, singles videos from last year, I was using that in these raids initially, and it was working all right. All right. If you finished that quite some time ago. And we got a Smeargle. Oh boy, y'all know how annoying Smeargle is in competitive. Ran into that motherfucker a few times in training. I start off with Withdrawal. Alright, Mystical Fire Spam. Struggle bug looks like I'm not the only one lowering its special attack. Raise your defense, it means nothing. This honestly might be one of the easiest raids we've had so far, 7-star raids. Well, can't wait for Charizard to show up again next week. And we're gonna see everybody using Sylveon, Fluttermane, Dashbun, and Azumarill, and probably Free Marina as well. You got a Free Marina? I only have one Free Marina, so... And I think it was one I transferred from Sword and Shield, if I remember correctly. Because I do want to do a little, like, liquid voice strategy with it, because I want to make a neutralizing gas team at some point, I was thinking about using it. Um, what am I calling? Primarina on it, so do, do I need Psychic-type Psychic Noise or Water-type Psychic Noise? It depends, it's kind of a switcheroo thing. Probably put, like, Regigigas and some Paradoxmons in that team as well. You know, Pokémon that would benefit from not having their abilities. Since the Paradoxmons are naturally immune to that, for whatever reason. Yeah, Liquid Voice, I'm okay with that. Alright, Swords Dance. And something about how Parashelling can be considered a Water-type move, thanks to uh, Liquid Voice and affects certain Pokémon differently, like certain Water-types with either Water Absorb or Storm Drain, can get that ability. Or can uh, be immune to uh, Parashelling, so you can use that with your team as well. It's a pretty busted strat. Alright, one last source dance on the Terra. Aha, you missed. Wait a minute, am I already max attack? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, now we Terra. Alright, I'll take it. Because yeah, that's my idea for Primo Arena. Or I almost want to make a Terra Psychic as well, just to use that. Yeah, the only time I'll ever use Terra Psychic. Did y'all know how much that terror type sucks? Your Hydro Pump will do nothing, Blastoise. Oh, that makes it much better. Alright, shield's gone. Shell Bell is the most broken item in all of uh all of um terror raids. Shell smash. Technically, he should be at, still at minus special attack, actually. I wouldn't even need to use a Mystical Fire. I already have a Shell Smash and Blastoise as Terra Dragon. That's what I want to make, like, fake out. I was thinking about making a secondary rain team that also stars Arcaladon, but instead of Terra Electric, I do Terra... Uh, what am I calling? Terra... Um, Stellar Terra. Oh yes, I forgot to mention Blastoise's hidden ability is uh, Rain Dish, which will mean it'll get some HP in Terror, well, in Rain. I wouldn't recall it. Also means it'll gain a little HP in Rain, but that doesn't really matter with how big their HP pools are. But it seems like the Galate has killed the Blastoise. Alright, now who will that be that we can raid later on? Alright. Kimura. Alright. I'll remember the name. I say that and I'll probably end up forgetting it later on, not on purposely, mind you. 
All right, we'll do your second trade again, though I'm not entirely sure what I want to trade this time. All right, let's do that again. All right. I'll thank you for that as well. And also, nice little update on my own life. I think I just got my next online job again, so I can quit the current warehouse job that I'm at right now in about a week. Too bad it kind of gets in the way of a certain special day that I have this month, but yeah. And don't worry, I'll still be able to uh, make a video that day. Wink. Hint. Anyways, now what should I give? Yeah, let's see, do I have any shiny Pokemon I don't want to use? I don't really know. Why do I have a Terra Dragon Scyther again? I don't remember. Oh wait, I know why. Now, this is what happens when you have too many choices. Actually, where's that Terra Flying Orthworm? I'm gonna get rid of that if I still have it. Or did I already give that to you? Uh, ground Hound, the Houndstone. Yeah, right here. Prima Arena. And a female one, as it should be. I feel like more people should use Sparkling Aria. Be a move that would definitely work pretty well. If you pair with, like, uh, Water Absorbent stuff. Though that's way too many Water Types on the same team. Now well, you could always pair it like, Dry Skin Toxic Croak or Water Absorb Cloud Sire. I think that works pretty well. A lot of bulk on that team, though. The team is very slow, so you could probably pair that with, like, Trick Room or something. <laughs> Neat. Hyper Trained Mermaid. I have nickname her Ariel, but I don't think I'll be able to nickname. Wait, wrong one. I mean, you could always give it back if you're fine with that. No, it doesn't look like the wrong one to me. But if you think it's the wrong one, we can give it back. And I'll be working from home again real soon. That means more time for vids again. All right. Okay. I'll just trade this one back. The a Terra Grass Premier, Marina. How useful would that be? Actually, you're still going to be weak to poison, so maybe not the best. And I don't know if there's any well, electric and other grass types you can resist those, but you'd still be weak to poison. A raid unit for Marina. Perhaps in a future 7 star raid that could have some usage. Alrighty. Well, thank you for that. And let us see if there's any more than Blastoises. Them shellfish, I'm feeling like Blastoise muscles for dinner today. And Terra, you know, I should try Terra Electric Porygon too, with a Magnet Rise. Again, Magnet Rise is a move I wish more people would use. It's a really useful move, especially on electric types. And this may take a little bit to load. There we go, and just as I say it, it loads. Uh, please don't tell me you're gonna use a reboot in this raid. Do not do it.
That's eBay Porions 2 got laid. Sounds good to me. As soon as the other Vaporeon trainer makes his decision. Alright, there we go. We'll draw hide in your shell. It's a blastoise in his shell. That's not really funny, is it? Like, I don't know, I just thought of a really bad Pokemon themed dad joke. Like, what do you call a blastoise who used a draw? He's stuck in his shell. Just no. <laughs> that was cringe, I know. Eh, sometimes you gotta make cringy jokes before you can make halfway decent ones, right? Madados or some sort of meeting for that name. Alright, Flash can hit me with your best shot. Oof. Ah. Alright. I guess it's best that I do not know. Why is this he why is he using acid armor? I almost said acid spray. Speaking of Acid Spray, I've been thinking about using Amoongus. Normally, I did normally say I don't like how passive Amoongus is in VGC, but you know what I can do? You know how much I protect. So instead of running that, I could run Acid Spray instead to weaken foes for my special attackers. Put it on like a Blood Moon Rush Luna team. Really punch some holes into the opponent's team. Either that or like Sludge Bomb just for straight damage. And maybe make a more offense oriented Amoongus. Ah, uh, Blastoise can hit me with a, I couldn't hit a broadside of the barn. You loser. Oh, alright. Yeah, that's better I don't know, then. Now, shield's down. Don't take away my stat buffs. There's Shell Smash. Technically, should be a neutral special attack now because of that. Oh, come on, let me move, dude. Buster, she's being rude. Alright, it's the Sacred Sword. Remember when Sacred Sword was only exclusive to the Swords of Justice? Now anything what, what could be considered a blade gets that move. Gallade, you just slash. All that stuff. Ambagor. I like that name. As an unborn lover, I do like it. Alright, now we're at full HP. Alright, takes some stat drops again. Doesn't really need to do that, I'd say. There's the rain. And the sun immediately afterward. And Dominic, the... The, uh, what am I call it? The Swamp Rats. Still the best water starter, besides Greninja. And Kato, the Hisuian Decidui. The Ronin, in other words. And bye-bye, Blastoise. Initially, when I first looked up this Gallad set, I thought it was a little slow, but I'm being proven wrong there. Dude, how are you raising your defense and you're dead? Man, go back to the sewers. Anyone get that turtle reference, eh? Okay. Uh, Kieno, the Hisuian Decidui. Uh, 
Hey, there's a terrifying analog right there. That would have been useful last year. Oh, well. Hey, Electros, the Electros. Maybe Electros should get some sort of regional form. Maybe make it based on... I still really want a Pokemon based on a Leech one of these days. I mean, to be obvious, just to make it Bug Poison or Dark Poison. The closest thing we have based on a Leech is it's Pre-Evolution Electric. It's kind of like a Leech if you think about it, even though it's still clearly an eel, but its face kind of makes it look like a Leech. Definitely one of my most wanted animals to be based on a Pokemon or a Pokemon to be based on. Besides a Minotaur, and what else did I say? There's some other... A Narwhal, that's right. I mean, technically we have Satitan, Satitan's technically a Narwhal. I want to see Narwhal, goddammit, not a land one. Sorry about hitting my desk. Garbatron. Sounds like a Transformer. Technically, Arcaldon wouldn't be too off from the Transformers universe. But if it was a real big one, that could turn into a bridge that the others could ride on, something like that. Our count on our Transformers, man, a fanfic I want to see. Uh, name from Ninjago? On what Pokemon are we naming after that? I mean, the obvious answer would be Lloyd Garmadon, but... Uh, hmm. Nah, it's been quite some time since I've watched Ninjago, but... Eh, just Lloyd Garmadon. Oh. Oh, he got the name. Oops. Alright, I misunderstood once again. Another raid where Iron Hands actually is finally halfway useful, besides those Eevee raids. they Garmatron. Oh, okay, I see what you mean now. Alright, let's go fire. Do you remember when Delphox is the only Pokemon that can learn that move? Well, Miss Magus got it in the same generation, specifically in Aorus, but whatever. And everybody- I know I'm a little late for this, but everybody rejoice, Blastoise actually uses his cannons now to attack for the first time since Pokemon Stadium. Remember when it would just come out of his head in the 3DS games? <laughs> Especially with Mega Blast Switch, you got this big-ass cannon on your head, and you, the water comes out of your... Or, big-ass cannon on your back. As well as your little shoulder cannons, or your arm cannons, whatever the hell those are. And the water comes out of his head. Why? <laughs> Probably one of the most well-known Pokemon memes, I'd say. One of the ones that makes the most sense, too, as well. Sounds like a decent origin story to me with that, uh, from Jago. Alright, now we tear her, get the sacred sword off. The shield's broken. It's a good thing that terror raid mons can't take away secondary effects and moves. Now, imagine if we had a terror raid that could- that literally had, like, Covert Cloak or something. Oh, that'd be busted, because secondary effects and terror raids are pretty much pivotal to winning them. You're hitting an awful lot of those Hydro Pumps, dude. Ah, of course you get a crit. Thankfully, the shield breaks with this. The Shell Smash will bring him to minus one special attack, but then he takes away his stat buff, so he's technically a neutral now. I 
I mean, unless you're planning on using Fezzer Dubity's attack set, which for some reason is higher than its special attack. You think it'd be the other way around, but it's not. Since Fezzer Dubity has better special attack than physical attacks, but its physical attack set is higher, so... I mean, if you're worried about, like, foul play or confusion damage, I wouldn't be that worried about it. It's a fairy type. And besides, with Toxic Chain, unless you're planning on using Technician, Dazzling Gleam and Icy Winter is better for it. And down to go, Blastus. Man, why did Gary Oak choose Blastoise again? That's a dumb question, we all know why he did. Blastoise is pretty cool, I just wish it did more damage. Which Mega Blastoise fixed that problem, but Megas don't exist anymore, at least for now. Anyone also notice that Blastoise's arms are a bit longer than they were in the 3DS games? No, just me? I mean, technically Pokémon Tournament DX was the first game to do that, but whatever. Alright, just to, just to worry about any potential confusion damages. That means it's nice that you are preparing for such things. Because during one of my VGC training things I was doing off-screen, I was dealing with a Lumineon using Confuse Ray, and I had plus six on a Pokémon, I won't say which Pokémon, because it'll spoil the team, but... I managed to hit myself in Confusion just once, and I got screwed because of it. It was very uh, damaging, let's just say, because I was plus six attack. Of course, that would basically one shot. Like, that has to be like getting slapped with a brick or something. Or slapping yourself with a brick, I guess, would make more sense. Alright, we're unable to join. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to reset my clock over here. Just so I can get my own right up. It just makes things easier. Alright, the clock is over here. There we go. Put it by two minutes. And you got to shiny. What shiny is it this time? Alright, let's see. Where's the raid? That's Terra Grass. There it is. A golden egg. Ow, oh, it's execute. Alright, after this raid we shall do that. If anybody else has any raids, do let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you with them. Alright, let anyone join. Let's see who joins today. I didn't even notice the moveset for, uh, Fizzendipity. Alright, three Galloids and a Blissey. Hey, I learned Heatwave as well. That pairs pretty well with Toxic Chain. Air Slash for potential flinching and poison. That'd be pretty broken. And a Sludge Bomb. Alright. Got a lot of spread moves on there. I wonder if I can learn Air Cutter as well. You could probably, like, Air Cutter is a move I wish it would be used more in VGC. I mean, sure, it doesn't do much damage, but one higher chance to crit two with the spread move. Three would probably be pretty decent in dealing with shit like Amoongus, so... I think it's pretty cool. I just wish more people would use that move. I remember using it on Kill Ultra back when this game first came out, instead of Air Slash, for that reason. Yeah, now that I think about it, I do have a Terra Flying Pheasant Dippy I got from a giveaway, so I'm about to do that myself. Make it a Life Orb strategy. So, at least I could do a bit more damage. Unless uh, Pheasant Dippy learns Nasty Plot, which I think it does, I could be wrong. I got all these ideas, and I'm gonna put them on paper. 
Well, that, well... That, well, that was the color watch I was using during my playthrough team, not on VGC, but... Yeah, I remember making a team based around that. And hello, Fizzled... Uh, hello, Wesker. How you doing today? I hope you're running the Umbrella Corporation pretty well. And you're dealing with Chris Redfield. I know he's a bit of a menace. And Jill Valentine, I know she's a little annoying too. I really need to play some more Resident Evil. I've, I only have Resident Evil 5 and I barely played it. <laughs> Alright, two more sword stances. And he's dead. So yeah, like Nasty Plot, max special attack because of its really middling special attack stat. And then just spam spread moves, Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and Air Slash, or Air Cutter, I mean. And thank you for gifting us up to a good old Wesker. Very appreciative. Alright, Terra fighting, and this Blastoise is dead. I mean, Blastoise, in my opinion, is a really good secondary choice for a Cantor run if I don't choose Charizard. Like, every time, I've always got at least that one secondary Pokemon I'd like to use. Uh, for a starter run, if I decide not to. Like, say, for Generation 6, instead of Greninja, why not I do Chestnut? I actually kind of like Chestnut. I wish it was better in battle, but yeah. Uh, good to know if he knows Judigan. It's nice to know we got a bit of a uh, core going on here. Alright, he takes away his own stat drops twice. Oh, that's why. His health is non existent. Heh! <laughs> sandwiches. Oh, I'm alright, I'm looking at him. Radon needs them sandwiches. He literally lives off of them. I really like the Mariah Don't Say Much About there. <laughs> that might be my favorite about actually. Ah, uh, speaking of that, I'm very salty. Alright, yes, let's do your trade. I was thinking about trading up uh, Exeggutor, Cantonia one specifically. Either make it Terra Fire so it fits on a Sun team, or Terra Poison to take, like, Bug-type hits. I remember Wolfie recently made a video on him using Exeggutor in a tournament, and his was Terra Poison, so maybe I could use that. You reverse the emotes. Interesting. Didn't know you could do something like that. Alright, nobody found. Let's try that again. There we go, trade partner found. And now what shall I give up this time? And I got a lot of things I don't really want to give up though. Alright, this is where I know what I plan on doing with him, I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, let's see, it's gotta be something good I can give up. Man, this is what happens when you have too many good options. I don't know, I've tried finding Iron Valley and I haven't really found it. I can just use sandwiches, I know, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. A hidden cave. Perhaps I just never found that hidden cave. 
because it's a hidden cave. It's not supposed to be found. <laughs> eh, don't really have any use for this, uh, Ampharos. It makes me sad, too, because I really like Ampharos. Eh, I got my Terra Dragon one. I think it's fine. I'm aware it's an Area Zero. Those looks aren't exactly golden. They're more orange. I think they were more golden looking in older games, but here they look more orange. So what happens when you boil them eggs too long, man? They turn brown like that. I also wish Air Frost was more viable in competitive play. He's such a cool little sheep. And yeah, people sleep on him. Alright, well thank you for that as well. A uh, waterfall. Is there a waterfall? Alright, that's cool. Alright, hold on. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll go back. If you want me to. Unless you were... Are you looking it up, or did you want to continue a trade? Alright. I've got some Terra Flying Fizz and Dippities, so I'm definitely going to use that spread move stuff. Though, a uh, wide guard Pokemon like Pelipper is going to screw me over with that. I hope I don't run into that, is all I have to say. Ah, now what should I give up this time? Nah, I want to use that Haxorus. If I have multiple Terra Fairy type Hatterenes, I think I'll give up that one. <laughs> Terra Dragon Arc 9. I really don't know what I want to give up now. Uh, maybe this. Terra Scizor? Yeah, let's see if I'm bronze long from last year. That's my Terra Rock Go Goat. I do apologize for the delay. I'm just having a really hard time thinking what I want to get rid of. You know, I'll get rid of this Terra Water Mimikyu. If I ever need another Mimikyu, I can simply catch one. I don't think I need one. I've already got another Terra Fighting one. It's fine. Better yet, actually, I got a multiple High Dragons. I'll just give you one of those that I am not using. Got a Terra Fire High Dragon, a Terra Poison one, a Terra Dragon one, a Terra Dark one, a Terra Electric. Yeah, I got way too many High Dragons. I'll just give you one of those. Yeah, let's see. Do you prefer a Terra Fairy or a Terra Ghost? I'll give you the Terra Ghost one if you're okay with that. Shiny Florgus, alright. Is this the shiny Florgus you were telling me about, uh, telling me about earlier? I certainly will. Like Terra Steel or something. Now go against some pesky poison steel types. 
Or, actually, Terra Ground was always really good for fairy types as well. And thank you for that. I wish Forgus had a higher defense stat as well. I don't know, it's stuff like this that seriously makes me wish that, uh... What am I call it? It's stuff like this that seriously makes me wish we had a defense version of Assault Vest, but there's a reason why we don't have that, because Burn's a thing. There's already ways to lower attack, like Burn and Intimidate, but there aren't as many ways to lower special attack damage, so it's, that's why we have Assault Vest. But Assault Pants or Assault Jacket or something for raising defense would be really cool on mods like Florgus and Reggie Ice. Alright, we'll do your Blastoise raid then. As soon as this stops loading. Yeah, speaking of which, I gotta stop being lazy with the Kirby Star Allies playthrough. I gotta get back to that eventually. Should have finished that by now. At the time of me making this video. Because again, I wanna, I've already got my Wii U in my office over here. I'm itching to start this new playthrough. Alright, if you want to continue doing that. And right, let me drink a little water then. I'm not gonna do this. I'm leaving. Bye. Right, three Y. Ha F F. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that. Yeah, same with that. I gotta stop being lazy with all these things. I mean, I'll be working home from home again in about a week, so it'll be much easier to make those videos then. Yeah, I've really got to stop being lazy with that. I've already got some new teams planned. I've been training them up. I've been testing them out. They're working really well. well aside from my... Well, I'm not going to spoil which team it is, but... Yeah, if anybody else wants to join, now is your chance. I'll give them a little time. I'll make sure it comes out this coming Saturday. And today, at the time you're making this, is a Thursday, so... Yeah. Two days from today. I think within that time, I should get the, uh... Like I was saying earlier, the Misty Terrain team built. Well, I'm ready. If anybody else is. Like, you already know I'm using Galarian Weezing. I already stated earlier in the episode I'm using Latios. I forgot what else I was using. Besides, I'm planning on using Rock Ogre Pond with this team as well, with Spiky Shield to pair pretty well with the Terra Fairy Misty Explosion. In case I just need a new button, you know? So there's a small spoiler there, and the rest of the team I'm definitely not going to say anything about. I already forgot what it was, so I gotta go. I already mapped it out in Showdown, so I gotta go look at it. Did I put Tornadus on that team? I don't remember. Ah, uh, Petch Run, the Petch. I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> Hey, you know what else I gotta stop being lazy with, too? Pokemon Insurgents. I haven't made that in a while. Wait, what am I, like, in the level 60s right now? I left off on that volcano. Fire. And one last one to lower that special attack even more, and I could tear a fighting next turn if I truly wanted. Again, I like how the NPCs keep trying to lower its attack, but it doesn't even have a physical move. Hey, 
Make swords dance. Well, so either for this video or for when Charizard comes out, or re-releases next week, I should say. And Petron's gonna pay for messing with your friends, man. You don't mess with the friend group. But, uh, maybe our question of the day is, of the three fully- for this one, yeah, screw it. I, I, I could wait till the Charizard videos for this. But I think I'll just ask it out. Of the three fully evolved Kanto starters, which one is your favorite and why? Let us know. For me, Charizard. I know, Charizard's a little overrated for some people, but I like it and it's always my first choice of any of the Kanto starters. Well, Blastoise is a second choice. Though Venusaur is still pretty cool as well. I definitely like Venusaur more now than I used to. Alright. Time to blow this Blastoise up. I always did say Blast I wish Blastoise did more damage, but thankfully it does get Shell Smash as a way to, you know, give it more damage output, so that's nice. Which I think it got Shell Smash back in Generation 8, actually. Because before that, it didn't have that move. Hey, nice playthrough of Alpha Sapphire. Oh yeah, that's another thing I gotta stop being lazy on. My Pokemon Y Nuzlocke that I promised, especially now since a certain game was announced. Gotta get that done before that. <laughs> Alright, no more for the shield. Mudkip is the best of the Hoenn starters, even though all three of them are really cool. Shell smash. And the light screen. I don't have to use light screen myself. means nothing. Seriously, why do they even have it? Well, I know it's its hidden ability, but Rain Dish is kind of useless in these raids, at least when the enemy's using it. The Rain Dish itself is a fine ability. Oh no, not the Swampert. Not the Swampert, man. Ah, oh, screw you. Took away my ability. I mean, that's when you're supposed to use, uh... What am I call it? That's when you're supposed to use light screen, but I don't need to. Thankfully, this is still gonna do a fine amount of damage. Uh, okay, maybe not as high as I thought it would be. We might be in trouble here. Oh, let me check uh, the Blastoise's stats. Yeah, it's plus two special attack, no wonder. Alright, all I can do is maybe lower its special attack and we do a heal cheer. And of course, you keep hitting Hydro Pump. Our defense, that means nothing. Alright, so I'm gonna heal Cheer so we can do that, and then you'll be able to kill the Blastoise if that will. Alright, there we go, now it's dead. Didn't have to worry about nothing. I wasn't worried at all. Asical Crash is a very cool move. I wouldn't say it's broken, it does hit decently hard. The chance of flinch is nice, but. The, uh, what is it? I think it's 85-90% accurate? That's what bounces it, that's why I'd say it's not all that broken. It's a definitely a better ice type move than Ice Punch, though. But ever since Ice Spinner came in, it's definitely dropped in usage, though. Still see some usage with mods like uh, Chun Pao. And Dargon Pulse as well. Alright. I'm gonna go back to Mount Tadavera for a second, so let's see what we can go sell.
The Latios, not the Latios, man. Alright, I don't have too many things. Oof. Are you fighting? Oh yeah, you are fighting Nimona right now, aren't you? You know what's kind of funny? Kieran would rather take on 14 trainers in his village than one Nimona. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright. Now, let me see how many of those Carboses I have. 65 of them and 72 Calciums. Now, let me check out the Latios you just gave me earlier. Now, let's see, where did, where was he? I know where he is. Oh, it's already maxed out in EVs. Or IVs. Still really liking the Luster Purge boost that we have in this generation. Ah, oh, it was grandparents. That wasn't a spoiler, was it? I mean, Mochi Mayhem has been around for a while now, but do apologize if that was a spoiler. I'm gonna have Tailwind on this moveset. Because I'm learning that Tailwind is one of the most broken moves ever, and you need Tailwind on your team, especially if you're against a Tornado Storm or Crow. Even though nobody really uses Murkrow anymore, like at the beginning of the game, but whatever. Alright, thankfully I killed a bunch of Glamoras off screen as well, so I'm gonna give you Terra Blast real quick. Alright. Yeah, I know you did that before me. I had things to do around that time, man. Alright, I'm gonna give you a Terra Blast for Terra Steel. Yeah, let's see, which Terra Steel definitely pairs very well with your ability of Levitato. Only making you weak to fire and fighting type moves, which your base typing already handles pretty well. I do apologize, I don't have time for another Blastoise Raid Wesker. Because I gotta deal with, you guessed it, slave labor. Oh, well, I'm only with this, these, this job for like another week or so. I've already, I've already gotten hired to my next online job, like I stated earlier in the video. Now, this one I might give Soul Dew. Right, I'll change its Terra type later. I'm not going to deal with that now. Alright. But I think that will be the it. Be the it. Ha! <laughs> I know English. That'll be it for this video of Pokemon Skull and Violet and quite a fruitful video it was. If y'all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and a follow. Hit one of the vids you see on screen off on YouTube and that bell button for more. May I give a special thank you to both Aaron and Whisker for joining me once again for this wondrous episode. As well as Aaron for resubscribing and becoming a Super Gamer Bear and doing the same for Wesker. Now, this video is also sponsored by the wonderful people Adobe. Just at the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount on your wonderful energy drink order. I recommend that Dragonade flavor. Plus, what did you like and dislike about this video? Let us know, and I'll be sure to, uh, what am I calling? I'll be sure to use that feedback for future videos. And what is the person you wanted me to rate again if you don't mind uh, retelling me? And last but not least, to answer the question today of the three fully evolved Kanto starters, which one is your favorite and why? It always generates a good bit of conversation. It can make even a good thing in the comments. But anyways, we'll do this raid real quick. And that'll be that. I can run. Let's start the raid. Tell him that I said hello and show him your support. Alright, thank you everybody for watching and have a bearific day.